Hello, my fellow design experts. Who's ready to get multilingual? Well, guys, you heard it. If you haven't seen all the hustle and bustle posted by Brett in the community group on Facebook, Wix just released a multilingual beta to us experts. Now, in order for you to even be in this beta and receive the capability of it, you must be in that beta testing group. You can follow up with that by heading to the Facebook group and searching in the files for beta testing group or watching Wix, uh, Brett's roundtable on multilingual or reading the multilingual post. Guys, I apologize. I couldn't get this video out for the launch of the beta. I was actually on vacation. I talked to Brett about that. I was a little bummed because I'm supposed to be your beta guy, but I'm here delivering you the beta video now. So I apologize for that, but I look forward to moving ahead and getting on with this multilingual beta. If you guys would like to learn more about me and what I've been doing since WixCon, you could head over to wixtrainingacademy.com and go see what I've been up to. I'll throw the link in the description below but for right now multilingual what's up with it well let's start by this if you have enrolled in the beta testing group you have access to this to actually start using it here's the steps <laughs> all right guys we go over here to settings once we hover over settings we're gonna see an option down here for multilingual we're gonna click that we are then gonna have a little pop-up appear gives us our welcome screen and we click get started next we have to choose the main language of our website in this case English for me and then you choose the corresponding flag for your language in this case United States English for the United States Great Britain you'll have to choose your flag as well any other English speaking countries you pick your flag as well so then we would click next the second language, I'm just going to go with Spanish, and we'll click Spanish here, and then we'll just say the corresponding flag for this one is Spain. So this is the next language you want to add. After that, we'll click Next. And now we've officially added multilingual to your site. The question is, how do we capitalize and utilize it next? Well, we click Start Now. Once we do that, we will see our flag menu appear up here in the header. It's very nice and it's got our flag for the corresponding languages on there, which for a lot of you, this is something that you've been really needing and wanting for either your website or your clients. And they've even updated the look and feel of this little language menu up here. So now that we've got that added, how do we actually start utilizing the multilingualness of this new capability? Well, up here to the left, you'll see the flag for your main language first if you click on that you can switch in between your english site and your spanish site so english site all of this would stay the same whatever you just built in english or whatever your corresponding main language is this all stays the same great news is you don't have to touch a thing on there once you're done with the english site fantastic news for a lot of you but when you're ready to move on to the next language, what you do, you're going to simply come up here to switch languages, and then we're going to go to Spanish in this case. So now we are on the Spanish site. So here's the exciting news. It is seamlessly transitioning between the two sites, which means we don't have to go and duplicate each page. What we do have to do is translate this page for the content we want translated into the corresponding language. So now that we're on here, I don't know what Go Mobile is in Spanish. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not fluent in Spanish, but I'm just gonna say this. Hola, amigos, okay? So if we do that, this is gonna show up on the Spanish site. You scroll through, you can do the same thing for all of your buttons. You'll notice whenever you click on a text box or an item, it says translate next to it. That simply means you could come in here and change the text to the correct language you want. You do the same for buttons. I could come up here and I could say, hola amigos again for lack of better Spanish words even though I took two years of it. And then we scroll down and then we would simply do that for all of our pages in the multilingual app. So you still have to translate your pages. The difference is, is you don't have to go and duplicate each and every page and have a hard transition process 
of editing the text or doing certain line breaks in the text or anything like that. It's really easy to do, guys. All you have to do is switch, switch between your editors, and if for some reason you don't know the corresponding language, you either get it from your client or you just go to Google Translate and translate the text, and that's what you do. The next thing you need to do is you're going to want to change the uh, information in your menu as well because you want your menu to correspond with your language. So I think I do know this one. Correct me if I'm wrong, anybody that speaks Spanish and watches this, but uh, I think it's Inicio is home. So we'll just say that's the home page. So now we've got our corresponding home page with Spanish. Another cool thing we can do here, I know, Wix just keeps throwing it at you, is we can actually change the images for the Spanish or whatever, again, I keep using Spanish and English because those are the two I'm using here, but we can actually change images based off of the version of the site we're using. So maybe your English site has different images than your Spanish site. So let's change this uh, vector art right here. I'm just going to choose this just for, again, lack of a better picture. But what's going to happen now when I click Save and Preview is that our English site is going to have the original one and our Spanish site is going to have this black box. The only thing that does get affected is if you move text. So if you move text on Spanish, it also moves on the English site. So that is something that does get affected. However, changing the text, changing the color of the text, that type of thing, you're good, you're set, you're solid. So now, if I go ahead and click Save, and we'll just save this as, sure, my site 7. And then preview. You can see right here, I am in the Spanish website. Again, I didn't translate the whole website, but this is the Spanish. To change to English, I come up here and click English. Bingo. And just like that, we are back and transitioned into the English website. This is an extremely powerful tool, and you'll notice that this image right here is changed from that black box on the Spanish site. This is awesome, guys. Wix, great work. Fantastic work. You've really provided us an awesome tool and a good-looking tool at that to go out there and build multilingual websites for either our own websites or our clients and it's really powerful and you've made it such a seamless process so congratulations to them Brett fantastic work with the round tables you've done and just announcing the post in general I appreciate you guys watching this drop a like down below if you're excited about this comment if you have any questions at all or you want to correct me on my Spanish I am fine with that I need to learn and then don't forget to subscribe here at the Wix community channel where there are some amazing amazing pieces of content brewing between our amazing influencers on this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't be afraid to let us know here and share this post in the Facebook group because this is something everyone needs to see. This is a beta specifically for us, not out to the public yet, and you should start utilizing it and start getting familiar with it because this is one you're going to want to use for your business and for your clients. Once again, guys, I appreciate you taking some time to watch this multilingual beta release with me. If you want to learn more about myself, head over to wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below, and go ahead and check it out. Go register if you'd like by clicking Academy in that main menu. Thank you guys again, and I will see you on our next video.